Hey guys, Jonathan Flint here for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I'm here to make NFL picks for Week 13, 2014 NFL season. This is going to be a very uh, quick, probably pretty poorly put together video. I uh, am running late and I'm running against the clock, so here we go. I'm going to try to get these out here as quick as I can. We are 2-1 and one on the week so far. Uh, we won the Lions game on Thanksgiving. Uh, we lost the Cowboy game and we won the Seahawks game. With the two and one on the week, we are one twenty one fifty seven and one on the year. We are seven fourteen four twenty three and thirty lifetime. So, uh, let's get right to it. Cleveland and Buffalo. Uh, not really a lot to say about this game here because even though both these teams come in here with with uh, fairly good, good records, I don't think there's really a lot of attention being paid to it. Uh, I've got Buffalo getting the win in Cleveland. It'll be a nice uh, return home for them after their last home game. Uh, last Monday night was played in Detroit due to the snowstorm. Cincinnati and Tampa Bay. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bengals here. They're just, they're obviously the better team. Uh, the one thing that's interesting to me, I don't know, I don't know, I know I don't pick spread as far as YouTube goes, but the line for this game is, uh, is an incredibly small line, and when you have something like that, that seems that obvious. It seems that Vegas knows something, and they're usually right. So I'm actually a little leery about this game, but I'm going with the Bengals. Uh, Titans and Texans. Um, you know, Houston's one of those teams where you don't really know what you're going to get from week to week. Tennessee has shown at times that they can be competitive this year, uh, but I do think Houston will get the win at home. Uh, Washington Redskins, Indiana, Indianapolis Colts. Uh, the Redskins are just a mess right now, uh, obviously, you know, with RG3 being benched, I think he's probably out the door in Washington, I think he will be traded, uh, in the offseason, yeah, they, they hung with San Francisco last week, you know, big whoop, San Francisco was probably more focused on the Seattle game, uh, the Thanksgiving game, although it didn't show it, um, I, I don't think that, you know, this. Why I don't think Washington is even the slightest bit better just because I hung with San Francisco last week. Uh, you're giving me Andrew Luck at home uh, against the Skins. Give me the Colts, obviously, all day long. Oakland and St. Louis. Um, <clears throat> I think Oakland showed in the game against Kansas City. Oakland is a team. Listen, they're one in ten. But they're not atrocious. I think Jacksonville is honestly probably worse. I think there's a couple teams that are probably... I think the Jets are worse than the Raiders are right now. I think the Raiders just need a couple parts. That's really all they're missing is a couple of parts just right now. If they don't have them. St. Louis is 4-7. and seven. They're not going to make the playoffs. Um, you know, they can, they're still a very competitive team. I've said it a couple times this year. I think they're still a quarterback away. I do think St. Louis is the better team here. I've got the Rams getting the win at home. I'm a little bit iffy doing this, but I'm going to make up my lock of the week. So uh, there's my lock. Carolina and Minnesota. There's a lot of games here that I don't have much to say about because it's a lot of games between teams that are not playoff contenders. So... There's really not much to say, and this is really one of them. Carolina, obviously, sadly, at 3-7-1, and seven and one, still has a chance to make the playoffs because they still kind of have a chance to win their division. Uh, it's not a great chance, but it's still a chance. That NFC, uh, NFC South division is uh, wide open, poorly. Meanwhile, you've got Minnesota at 4-7. and seven. What do you really want me to say about this game here? Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with Minnesota to get the win at home. That's all I got for you. New Orleans and Pittsburgh. I think it's time to say that New Orleans is in trouble. They're losing even at the Superdome now. They're not good on their own. I don't foresee them being good here. Pittsburgh is 7-4. and four. They're good. Roethlisberger, for the most part, is fairly hot. I think Roethlisberger is going to be able to torch that Saints defense. I'm not saying the Steelers blow out the Saints, but I've got the Steelers getting the win. Uh, next up, we've got New York Giants, Jacksonville Jaguars. Eli Manning is not playing his best ball right now. He doesn't always play his best ball in the regular season, but over the last couple of year, you know, last year, last, all, pretty much most of last season, and all of this season, Eli is just off, 
Uh, I do think the Giants will be able to beat the Jaguars, though. San Diego and Baltimore is our next game. I've got the Ravens here. The Ravens are 7-4, and four, and for whatever reason, I have a hard time trusting them, and I don't know why, because they're not a bad team. Uh, they showed it last week, or last Monday night against the Saints. I don't know why I struggle so much with trusting them. I'm going to put my trust in them this week. I trust them more than I trust San Diego. San Diego at 7-4. and four. I was in love with them at the beginning of the year. Anybody who follows me has followed me all year long knows that I've kind of fallen out of love with them after I've realized what they really are. They struggle with uh, running the ball. Um, Phillip Rivers is really good, but, uh, you know, I, San Diego is not a great 7-14. and I've got the Ravens getting the win. Arizona and Atlanta is our next game here. What can you say? You know, Cardinals obviously trying to still uh, win that division. Or I'm sorry, the uh, Falcons still trying to win the uh, South Cardinals more than likely have won the West. Um, obviously, they haven't clinched it yet, but it's going to take a pretty epic meltdown. For the Cardinals, the amazing thing about the Cardinals is it doesn't really seem to matter who is that quarterback for them. They're just a really good team. Bruce Arians, Bruce Arians is a really good head coach, and because he hasn't been coaching real long, I think he's still really underrated. I think he's going to be a, a good coach in this league for a long time to come. I've got the Cardinals beating the Falcons. Now let's get to the game that everybody's talking about, New England and the Green Bay Packers. I do think this could potentially be a Super Bowl preview. I know I bailed on New England this year, and I think a lot of a lot of people, even the professionals, seem to bail on New England when they stumble out of the gate because for whatever reason, I'm not calling myself a professional, but for whatever reason, a lot of fans and, and media people out and you know, especially fans outside of New England, we kind of forget that that Tom Brady, Bill Belichick thing, it's kind of a good combination. Um, meanwhile, you've got the Packers who are who are really hot right now. They struggled against the... I shouldn't say they struggled. They didn't play well uh, against the Vikings last week. But how much of that was they didn't play well and how much of that was let's hide some stuff. Uh, you know, let's do just enough to win, which they did, and let's hide some stuff so we don't show New England everything for this weekend. Both these head coaches are very uh, are very good and known for doing that. And McCarthy and Belichick. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. This is the first time Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady have gone head-to-head. Really excited for this game. I'm going to get called the homer. I know I am. Whatever. I think it's really tight, but I do think the Packers get the win. The Packers right now just seem unstoppable at Lambeau. If the game was in New England, I'd probably go the other way with it, but it's not. It's in Lambeau, so I'm going with the Packers. Broncos and Chiefs is our next game. Sunday Night Football. I think the Chiefs do have a chance to win this game. I don't think they do. I think it's tight. Uh, Denver is obviously not the same team. I would venture to say that Manning is not really the same quarterback anymore, which that's kind of, I mean, his arm strength isn't what it was. Um, And it's been that way since he got to Denver, but... Denver is just not a great-looking team. It's a division game. It'll probably be tight. Most division games are, especially in the AFC West. I do have the Broncos and Peyton Manning finding a way to get the win in the end, though. Uh, Monday Night Football and Dolphins and Jets. Jets back-to-back Monday Night games. Uh, No big deal. You know, I could sit here and say, well, the Jets got thrashed by Buffalo. They're going to come out embarrassed. Let's be honest, whether it's Michael Vick or Geno Smith, the Rex Ryan thing, that's got to end in New York because that's just, it's not working and that's just known. I don't know that Geno Smith is your future. Michael Vick certainly isn't your future at quarterback. You may have to go get one. Maybe Jameis Winston? Uh, I could see it. Um, But, and then you've got this Miami team who I still think at 6 and 5 is pro- is not probably is the best 6 and 5 team in the league and probably one of the best not the best one of the best 6 and 5 teams ever okay this Miami team is really really good i think they'll show it this is their chance to uh you know they they uh, we're in a dog fight last week on the road uh against Denver could that hurt them a little bit against the Jets Maybe, but I doubt it because it is the Jets. I've got the Dolphins 
getting a 34 to 10 win. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. Don't forget to like the Jam Sports Show page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links will be in the description. I will see you guys later.